Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome back to reading the Bible. Just finished chap reading chapter 22. After 22, chapter 22, we go to chapter 26. But we got 25 before that. Chapter 25 before that. Before chapter 25, we got 2 Kings chapter 24. So we got 25, 25. We got, we jump forward to chapter 36. Interesting. Chapter 45, chapter 46. 36, I'd say 46. Uh, 36, 45, 46. And then we go back down to Jeremiah 19, 20. And then we read Daniel. We already got Daniel. We got the first six chapters of Daniel. Let me share my screen again. What about Daniel? Go up to chapter three. In the three, go back to Jeremiah seven, eight. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. Wow. And jump up to 35. That 35 here. Oh, that's 25. Hmm. It's all over the place. We got 49. Go back to 2 Kings 24. Second uh, Chronicles 36. Just read chapter 22. Read chapter 23. Woe be unto the pastors who destroy and scatter. Will be unto the pastors. The word pastors is shepherds. 23. Pastors who destroy and scatter the sheep of my, of my pasture, saith the Lord. Therefore, thus saith the Lord God of Israel against the pastors who feed my people. Ye have scattered my flock and driven them away and hath not visited visited them behold i will visit upon you the evil of your doings say the lord i will gather the remnant of my flock out of all countries whither i have driven them and will bring them again to their folds and they they shall be fruitful and, and increase i will set up shepherds over them which shall who shall feed them and they shall fe fear no more, nor be dismayed, neither shall they be lacking, saith the Lord. Behold, the days cometh, 
say the Lord, for I will raise unto David a righteous branch, and a king shall reign and prosper, and execute judgment and justice in the earth. In his days Judah shall be saved, and Israel shall be dwelt safely, and this is his name whereby he shall be called the Lord our righteousness. Let's see what the Hebrew words are. Yahweh Sikkanu Yahweh or Yahovah Sikkanu The Lord our righteousness. Therefore behold, the days cometh, say the Lord, that they shall no more say the Lord liveth, who brought up the children of Israel out of, the, out of the land of Egypt. But the Lord liveth, who brought up and went brought up and which led the seed of the house of Israel out of the north country, and from all countries whither I have driven, driven them, they shall dwell in their own land. Mine heart within me is broken because of the prophets. All my bones shake. I am like a drunken man. And like a man whose wine, whose wine hath, whom, like a man whom wine hath overcome, because of the Lord, because of the words of his holiness. For the land is full of adultery, adulterers, for because of swearing the land mourneth, the pleasant places of the wilderness are dried up, and the course of evil is evil, and their force is not right. For both prophet and priest are profane. Yea, in my house have I, have I found their wickedness, say the Lord. Wherefore their way shall be unto them as slippery ways in the darkness. They shall be driven on and fall therein. For I will bring upon them evil, I will bring evil upon them even the year of their visitation, say the Lord. And I have seen folly in the prophets of Samaria. They prophesied in, in Baal or in the name of Baal, and caused my people Israel to err. I have seen also in the prophets of Jerusalem a horrible thing. They commit adultery and walk in lies. They strengthen also the land, the hands of, the, of evildoers, that none doth return from his wickedness. They are all of them unto me as Sodom, and the inhabitants thereof as Gomorrah. Therefore thus saith the Lord of hosts concerning the prophets, behold, I will feed them with wormwood and make them drink the water of gall. For from the prophets of Jerusalem is profaneness gone forth into all the land. Thus say the Lord of hosts, hearken not unto the words of the prophets who prophesy unto you. They make you vain. They speak a vision of their own heart and not out of the mouth of the Lord. They say still unto them who despiseth me, the Lord hath said, Ye shall have peace, and they say unto every one who walketh after the imagination of his own heart, No evil shall come upon you. For who hath stood in the counsel of the Lord, and hath perceived and heard his word? Who hath marked his word, and heard it? Behold, a whirlwind of the Lord is gone forth in fury. Even a grievous whirlwind, he shall fall grievously upon the head of the wicked. The anger of the Lord shall not return until he hath executed until until he hath performed the thoughts of his heart in the latter days he shall ye shall consider it perfectly i have not sent these prophets yet they ran i have not spoken to them yet they prophesied this is the lord speaking but if they had stood in my countenance and caused my people to hear my words then they should have turned them from their evil way and from the evil of their doings am i a god at hand Say the Lord, am I a God afar off? Can any hide himself in secret places that I shall not see him? Say the Lord. Do not I feel heaven and earth? Say the Lord. I have heard what the prophet said. They that who prophesy, who prophesy lies in my name. So I have dreamed. I have dreamed. How long shall this be in the heart of the prophets that prophesy the lies? Yea, there are prophets of the of the deceit of their own heart. Who think to to cause my people to forget my name by their dreams, which they tell every man to his neighbor, as their fathers have forget, forgotten them, has forgotten my name for Baal, or replaced my name for Baal, Baal. The prophet who hath a dream, let him tell a dream, and he hath 
He who hath the word hath my word. Let him speak my word faithfully. What is the shaft to the wheat, saith the Lord? Is not my word like as a fire, saith the Lord, and like a hammer that breaketh the rock in pieces? Therefore, behold, I am against the prophets, saith the Lord, who steal my words every one from his neighbor. Behold, I am against the prophets, saith the Lord, who use their tongues and say, He saith. Behold, I am against them who prophesy false dreams, saith the Lord, and do tell them, and cause my people to err by their lies and by their lightness. Yet I, I sent them not, nor commanded them. Therefore they shall not profit this people at all, saith the Lord. When this people or the prophet or a priest shall ask thee, saying, What is the burden of the Lord? Thou shalt then say unto them, What burden? I will even forsake you, saith the Lord. As for the prophet and the priest of the people, who shall say, The burden of the Lord, I will even punish that man in this house. Thus shall ye say, Every one to his neighbor, and every one to his brother, Who What hath the Lord answered? And what hath the Lord spoken? The burden of the Lord ye shall, shall ye mention no more. For every man's word shall be his burden. For yet, for he hath perverted the words of the living God, of the Lord of our, Lord of hosts, of the Lord of, ho of hosts, our God. The, uh, thus shalt thou say to the prophet, What hath the Lord answered thee, and, and what hath the Lord spoken? But since ye say the burden of the Lord, therefore thus say the Lord, because ye say this word, the burden of the Lord, and I and have sent unto you, saying, Ye shall not say the burden of the Lord. Therefore, behold, I, even I, will utterly forget you, and I will forsake you, and the city that I gave you and your fathers, and cast out of your presence. I will bring an everlasting reproach upon you, and a perpetual shame, which shall not be forgotten. Yeah, it kind of echoes what's going on in some of the church today. Unbelievable. I'll read chapter 24 as well. It's pretty short. The Lord showeth me, and behold, two baskets of figs were set before the temple of the Lord, after that Nebuchadnezzar king of Babylon had carried away captive Jeconiah, the son of Jehoiakim. Jehoiakim. Uh, da, da, da. The king of Judah and the princes of Judah with the carpenters and smiths and from, from Jerusalem, and, and brought them to Babylon. One basket had very good figs, even like the figs that are first first ripe, and the other basket had very naughty figs, very rotten. Rotten's a better word. Yeah, rotten, it says bad, but it should be rotten. Uh, verse 3. Yeah, rotten. Rotten figs, which could not be eaten, they were so bad. Then say the Lord unto me, What seest thou, Jeremiah? And I said, Figs, the good figs, very good, and the evil, very evil. It says evil here. Hmm. Verse 3. It says bad, evil. Evil, it says evil, it should be probably rotten, bad or rotten. Rotten is a better word. Again, the word of the Lord come, come, uh, came unto me, saying, Thus say the Lord, the God of Israel, like these good figs, will, so will I acknowledge them who carried away captive Judah, whom I have sent out of this place into the land of the Chaldeans for their good. For I will set mine eyes upon them for good, and I will bring them again into this land, and I will build them and not pull them down. I will plant them and not pluck them up. I will give them a heart to know me, that I am the Lord, and they shall be my people, and I will be their God, for, for they shall return unto me with their whole heart. As the evil figs which cannot be eaten, they are so evil. Surely thus, as with the evil figs uh, which cannot be eaten, they are so evil, so rotten. Surely thus saith the Lord, so will I give Zedekiah the king of Judah and his princes, and the, and the residual of, of Jerusalem, who remain in this land, and them who dwell in the land of Egypt. I will deliver them to be removed un, into all the kingdoms of the earth from, for their hurt, to be a reproach and a proverb, a taunt and a curse, in all places where the, I, I shall drive them. 
I will send the sword, the famine, the pestilence among them, till they be consumed from off the land that I gave unto them and to their fathers. After 24, jumps up to 29, 30, 31, and jump down to 49, 50. Oops. And then 52. So to the end of To the end of the book, pretty much. And then it goes back. And it goes back to Second uh, Kings 24. And goes back to Jeremiah 37, 38. That's what. So very, really, really scattered. So this was chapter 24, 23, 24. I hope you enjoyed the reading. Bye-bye.